Hi, I'm Kevin Creighton with AmmoMan.com. Today on the School of Guns, let's talk about car holsters a second time. Okay, now you may remember a few weeks ago when I had a video out there on car holsters and why they weren't a bad idea. Why I think it's a bad idea for you to put your gun out here in the open on some kind of magnet or clip-on or something goofy to keep it, you know, secure while you're in the car or when you're not away from the car. That's, I'm sorry, it's still a bad idea. Don't do it. However, let me tell you how I actually do carry a gun inside this car right here. And I'll tell you why. Well, for about a dozen years before I had this job, I did marketing and I did it for a bunch of different companies. And for many of those companies, they either had policies that allowed me to carry or they didn't really care whether I carried or not. And I found through personal experience that the best place for me to carry a firearm inside a corporate environment is a pocket pistol inside my pants. It worked great. I mean, nobody ever knew. I was fine. Everything was good, except when it came time to drive home or drive to work. When I'm sitting here in my car, I can't really access this pistol. A couple of reasons why. The seatbelt's going to come across and it's going to cut off my pocket right here. So even if I wanted to get into my pocket, the seatbelt's in the way. Secondly, look at how the gun is kind of sitting in here in my pocket. We've got my body here. It's blocking the access. Getting access to gun inside the pocket here is just, it's not going to happen. If I had to do it, what I would have to do is kind of, I don't know, put my foot on the brake and move and do that and come out and there and you can see it's an airsoft. Yeah, no, I'm not really a big fan of that. It's, I mean, it could work, but I wouldn't be able to like, okay, driving down the road, foot on the gas, something happens, brake, it'd be pop there. Uh, I think I've got it. Okay, oop, there it is. Here, okay, good. Yeah, not really a big fan of that. So what I did instead was I still pocket carried and it was still fine day in, day out, but I added a second gun inside my car, securely locked away. That's the big difference here. We're not leaving a gun out in the open where everybody can see it. We're not leaving a gun overnight in our cars and we are certainly not leaving a gun inside our car when we put it through the car wash. Lots of guns get stolen that way and congratulations, you've just armed a crook. I don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Let's not do that. So there's a couple of options. There's a very secure little lockbox with a key that you can slide underneath the seat. Works great, but you can't really access it all that quickly. So what I end up going with was this little solution from Hornady. Really nice, real simple. I have my phone here because I always have my phone with me in my car. I use it for directions and music and podcasts and stuff like that. But on the back of that, there's this little key here. And what that does is I take my phone, drive it down the road. Oh, something's popping up where I might need my gun. I reach over, wand it across the top of this box here, and there's my gun. Simple. And the nice thing about this is that's locked into the frame of my car. People aren't going to get access to that if they break into my car overnight, if they take my car through the car wash. This gun stays in that box until I need it the most. I kind of like that. So that's how I've decided to securely carry a gun. Do I recommend, is this for everybody? No, quite honestly it isn't. If you carry it on your waist, continue to carry on your waist. But if you were like me and needed to carry in a pocket, that's a good solution for you. As always, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you on the range.